Sometimes Hollywood just pisses me off. They love to use guns in their movies, but they hate them in real life. And now, this hypocritical action on Hollywood is coming full circle because Alec Baldwin shot somebody. And I'm not even calling it the Alec Baldwin shooting. That sounds like he got shot. Alec Baldwin shot somebody. And as a result, now, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, rubber bullets, big mistake, action movie hero, he's decided he's gonna stop using real guns on his productions. And you know what? I'm just getting tired of it. They can't vilify guns and then turn around and make millions of dollars with them. Before we go into that though, let me remind you, we have a gun giveaway going on right now. Isn't that fun? We're gonna give away a gun while I complain about what Hollywood is doing with guns. You can enter for free, it ends really soon. Just click the link in the description down below and you can win a brand new gun. Dwayne The Rock Johnson, professional wrestler turned Hollywood movie star, owns his own production company. He's coming out and saying, you know what? As a result of this, we're gonna remove all guns from movie sets. Anything that we produce uh, is gonna have no real guns on our sets. You know what? So what? First of all, why would you do this? Understand that what happened he didn't say he was connecting it to the Alec Baldwin incident. Alec Baldwin shot somebody, let's remember that. You're gonna see some stuff coming out really soon where he claims he didn't pull the trigger, but you know what? Guns don't just go off. Guns are made to fire. So Dwayne Johnson is, is stepping up and, and he's uh, you know waving the white flag and surrendering and we're not gonna have any guns on our movie set, no real guns anymore. Why? Why not just learn the rules of gun safety? What happened with Alec Baldwin was negligence, pure and simple. We've been over this. Check the guns to make sure they're not loaded. Don't trust anybody. And it is ridiculous for Hollywood to now say, we're not having any real guns on set. They, they didn't say they were doing it because of safety. Dwayne Johnson didn't mention safety at all when he's complaining about having real guns on the set. So that means he's just taking his political ideology putting it into his production company, fine, it's his production company, let him do whatever he wants, but at least be man enough to say what it is. He is anti-gun, but he still wants to use guns to make millions of dollars in his movie, but he's still anti-gun. And once he decides that he's not going to use guns on his movie sets anymore, not gonna use real guns on the movie sets, what do you think his politics are gonna be now? He's really gonna be outspoken now about not having guns anywhere. It just gets tiring to watch the people who are making millions of dollars using guns improperly, not being responsible with guns at all, and then going out and attacking the Second Amendment. It's, it, I, I cannot stress this enough. The issues that happened on the movie set of Rust were human error, negligence, and problems caused by people not learning, not taking the time to decide that they're gonna get firearms training. They're just simply lazy. And because of that laziness, someone died. But understand this, one of the elements making something newsworthy is that it doesn't happen often. If you look all around, there's maybe three different situations where people have died on a movie set because of a firearm problem. I'm not even gonna call it an accident because of negligence on a movie set. Three of them. People have fallen off of scaffolding. People have died falling off of their wires, swinging them around. Helicopters have crashed, cars have crashed. We're not getting rid of any of that stuff. We're just getting rid of real guns on movie sets because you know what? That makes them better than us, the, the producers of these movies because guns are such a problem. Guns are not a problem. Guns are not sentient things. They just sit there until human beings do something with them. And the human beings that are lazy and uneducated and don't take the time to understand the safety efforts behind firearms are the ones who are causing these problems. It is not a gun problem. It is a training and education problem. And they refuse to get the training and they think they can fix this by banning real guns from their sets. They're just foolish. It's not how it works. That's not how any of this works. Thank you very much for watching all the way to the end of this video. Again, I will remind you, we have a gun giveaway going on. Just click on the link in the description down below and you can find out which brand new gun you can win. And that giveaway ends really soon, so do it now.
I'm Kevin Michalowski, Director of Content for the U.S. Concealed Carry Association. If you enjoy videos like this, please subscribe to this channel and click that notification bell. We'll notify you every time something new comes out. Stay safe, and we'll see you in the next video.